You're here representing your country uh, at the commemoration of the 25th uh, anniversary of the uh, genocide against the Tutsi. Tell us how often does the president delegate a member of parliament uh, to represent him? It's the first time that in Emmy is at a as a special representative, a special envoy. Right. And uh, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, really wanted to, to do it because he wanted to sing, s send a signal to say, like, France is with uh, people of Rwanda, with Rwandese, to make sure that we pay tribute to more than a million people uh, who, who were killed during this, uh, this genocide of the Tutsi. And that's, it was really important for him mm -hmm. to make sure that France is also uh, contributing is also uh, having this word of a, of, a, of a memory and making sure that it never happens again. Right. Tell us what does this really mean to you as much as you're a French politician, uh, you still have a Rwandan identity. Does this mean to you uh, really coming back here? Of course, it, yeah. it means uh, quite a lot. It's yeah. always an honor to represent your country uh, abroad, but you imagine uh, the, the special uh, emotion that it's to represent your country in the country where you still have family. I yeah. still have uh, my uh, grandma, I still have my uncle, aunts, and in the country where you're born. So for me, it's, it's, a, it's a special uh, moment. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, also grateful for what, uh, the way that the, 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 the President Kagame and the whole country uh, welcomed me. I'm really grateful also to the French president of uh, uh, trusting, trusting me with the, this mission. Right. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure that I take my part in this uh, relationship between those uh, two countries that I love. You left to Rwanda uh, in 1994 when you were four years old. And uh, today you're about 29 years old. How has been that journey? Just tell us a little bit about that journey, you know, moving from here to, to France. Do you have any memory about Rwanda? I don't remember a lot because when you're four, you, I mean, the, the memories, they're all like short or, yeah. or sometimes, you know, um, you don't really know if it's your memory or if it has been reconstituted and because you, you've read a lot about the history of this country, uh, you watch movies, uh, documentaries, so it's always hard to say like, uh, what is yeah. it? I still uh, remember a little bit of uh, when uh, I left, when we, uh, when we were evacuated, uh, I remember a little bit, um, but mm. it's, it's still short mm. and, and... What do you and remember? No, no. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the departure a little bit, but it's, it was the confusion uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, um, so when you were going to the airport, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I was uh, going to the to the to the airport in uh, in the truck, uh, so but things also that I want to keep for for myself because I think it's intimate uh, yeah. stuff. But um, I, I was um, really happy when I came back for the first time in 2015 mm -hmm. that this country mm -hmm. didn't seems looks sounds and, and smell yeah. familiar there was something that uh, i knew that uh, i had like a, a special link with mm. do you have a family members here and how do you connect with yeah. them yeah. yeah i still have my uh, sister uh, my grandmother uncles and aunts mm. uh, they all live here yeah they all live here yeah. uh, uh, and uh, i still chat with them call them so it's 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 a chance also to still have my my uh, part of my family because yeah. you know we were yesterday in uh, Amaoro Stadium when they they, they, they they give the name of the family were totally wiped out and then then you 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 you, you realize again that it was a terrible tragedy and a lot of mm -hmm. lives and family were totally totally killed so I'm I'm mm. still lucky to have a mm. part of a member of my family. Having that experience and living in a country that has for so long refused to recognize their role in the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, what kind of uh, uh, experience or what kind of role do you see yourself playing in terms of bringing to just, or you know, making sure that a country like France accepts its, its role in, in the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi? You see, the, the, the question that you're asking, mm. It's a question of, uh, of uh, how we can ensure that we can establish all the facts and the truths and, and having the, uh, all then after the, the world. Um, the, 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 the exact uh, uh, events, the good moments. Right. Uh, and, and this path has been uh, started by the President Emmanuel Macron. I mean, right. you know, the two presidents, I think, 
uh, they have a really sincere uh, discussion, dialogue. Uh, they work on, on complex issues, on things of the past, moving step by step, but we, it has to be really concrete mm -hmm. and really, let's say, strong step. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we want also to work on, on, on collaboration, on, on common insurance and collaboration, so the innovation, smart cities, uh, uh, climate change. But uh, on the issue of, uh, of uh, making sure that we, we can have um, uh, some response and some words to what you're saying, that's exactly the, 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 the objective of the commission that France just established and the President Macron asked with historian, uh, expert, that will have to work, that will have to open the, uh, the military archives, the presidential archives, it was the first time it's a, a strong act by the president to make sure that we know exactly, and then after we continue this dialogue and, 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 we, and we, we, we pursue what has been uh, done and, and, and started in 2017 by the two presidents, Macron and Kagame. Well, again, tell us, when did you realize that you, wa you really wanted to be a politician? It was something that I, always thought could be interesting mm. to, 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 to be uh, uh, working for the general interest, uh, having a public mission, uh, but I wanted to do it and making sure that the, 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 the movement and the president that will follow would mm. really be in line uh, with what I think an economy, an international relation, on the way we include also uh, disadvantaged people. And I found with Emmanuel Macron a really dynamic, sincere, energetic people who believe in Europe, who believe in the partnership between France and Africa. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that he, 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 he trusted young people yeah. because, uh, you know, in other parties, uh, he would have been like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and now we, we need to make sure that we, we work to improve lives of our fellow citizens. We need to make sure that we we, 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 we build, we continue building a Europe that can have its place in the globalization against uh, and, uh, and also uh, uh, looking at what China and uh, America are, are becoming and also a France and a Europe really looking um, uh, in the eyes of Africa and working on a partnership investment, uh, investing in people and making sure that there is like a, this uh, true comprehensive partnership between our two uh, uh, continents. Thank you so much. Thank you.